Detective Comics 970, James Tinneying the fourth, and Joe Bennett on art. Uh, this was this an issue that was kind of had a lot of plot threads moving forward. It's kind of building on this same idea that these, yeah. the, the 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 Batman crew, the Gotham Knights, the the footage and photographs that are spreading around are seemingly going to a lot of different people. There, the mystery is being lifted, and there's a lot of conversation about, you know, is this a bad route to be going down? Like, and even even Tim's attitude, where he keeps trying to make it bigger and bolder, and he's like, oh, I've I've got an idea where I'll bring him back, real to like. The, do this with the with the tech, and I'll I'll bring in you know Leslie Tompkins to set up like a, a bat ambulance. And it's yeah, like, he wants to reroute the police scanners so that they only get the small time stuff. Yeah, and I'm like, Tim, yeah, because this could not possibly go wrong in any type way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's not like everyone's scared of them expanding and militarizing as it is. Yeah, that's yeah. Not, not that's not happening on the news right now. Yeah, well, so so it's basically going down that rabbit hole a little bit, and obviously it's advancing the actual plot with the victim syndicate, who by the end of the issue basically grab Clayface, and they have Clayface uh, captive. He's got a couple of sweet moments with Cass. Steph has uh, a couple of confrontational moments with Tim. She's kind of realising that he's... Look how sassy she is. Oh, she's very sassy. She's really just owned it. You know, Stephanie with Tim. Oh, yeah. Like, you're an idiot. Uh, We have this whole thing where future you came, and you're making all the same mistakes. So I will see you later. Yeah. And even uh, Colonel Kane's coming to visit Kate and being like, hey... Uh, yeah, that 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 Tim Phil, he's uh, making some waves. He's 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 even contacting me, trying to like arrange things and set yeah. up a system. Uh, probably want to stop. Well, he him. brought up Ulysses too, uh, which I liked. Like, yeah, he said he meant, he got, he got, was... yeah, he got fired. It's like okay, that yeah. that it. No no other repercussions. You're just gonna leave no. him to his own devices. That that yeah. that seems like that's gonna come back. He's he's no longer part of the colony. Well, then you apprehended him, right? No, we just kind of let him go. <laughs> he's out there floating around to for you guys to deal with later. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The fact that he's going to be a super villain in a couple of weeks, yeah, he, ignore that. He's never going to feel bitter that he got fired and, and come after you, no. is he? Uh, well, well, I, I think what fired Kane's... him on a Friday, his whole weekend was ahead of him. No, see, that's oh. the thing. I, I think, sure, I think what Kane's banking on here is that his obsession with Tim's so strong that he'll forget about Kane and just go after Tim. That's what he's banking on. It might work. Yeah. That might work. It, was, it all seems flawed, but uh, I thought this was a fine issue. It was just kind of moving everything ahead a little bit. There was, it wasn't like a standout thing where like I, I love this because of this reason or this. It was just kind of moving all the plots yeah. forward a little bit, uh, yeah. and was solid as it was doing it, but nothing particularly special, I would say, in the run as you know compared to other issues. I agree. Again, it's it's mostly things that work because they've been built up, like the the moments between Clayface and and Cass. Yeah. Yeah, that's. And then the way that it ends with the the victim syndicate basically tampering with Basil. We talked about last week with the the Lex Luthor stuff kind of just sputtering out. And we kind of wanted a moment. This feels like if he does go back to being like the monster clay face, it's going to hurt. Yeah, Mm. it feels much more earned, doesn't it? Yeah. Like like that that moment where... um... You know, Clayface says, oh, what if I just go back to my old ways? And Cass just goes, I'll hit you. I'm <laughs> scared that's foreshadowing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm worried about that. Because obviously Clayface is worried that he's, he's just a bad person anyway. But he, he goes to Mudface to give her the cure first. Uh, because again, he's, he's a nicer person. He's yeah, trying to be... Which, see, which again, that, shows that really... he's not the monster. See, to me it feels like... like I know this is just really cynical, but it's like, hey, I'll let this t- get tested on you first. This this can't go wrong. No, no you're, because I, you've been cynical. Even his, yeah. his conversation with Dr. October... Wait, it's Dr. October, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is... I, Veritas, October... There's all these doctors in the DC in the last five five or so years, and they get them all mixed up. But, uh... No, because he's, he's talking about how he feels bad. And, like, there's one person that can't control it, and She's like this because of me. I'm fully responsible, and I want to fix her. And then that's where he tells her, and she completely turns on him and is like, no, see, I want you to feel like the monster because you did this to me. And it's, it, you know, the victim syndicate who kind of seem vanilla, benevolent, you know, in their their goals a little bit to kind of show that Batman's not this shining knight. Yeah, they're fully bad guys, without a doubt. 
you know. Oh yeah, because at the end you have anarchy there. You have the rest of the, the syndicate there because they're, they're actually conspicuous by their absence. Because uh, you, you, I was expecting to see a lot more of them based on the end of the last issue, but we don't. And it's just before the end when this happens, where Tim looks at the security cameras at Arkham and all the doors are open. Like, wait, what's going on? Something weird's yep. happening. Yeah. Uh, so you, you don't actually see the syndicate till the very last page. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and obviously the, the big moment where Steph walks out and she's like, I, I'm, I'm leaving. And he's like, hey, do you mean the Belfry? Do you mean just right now? Do you mean leaving me? Do you mean leaving yep. the team? And she's like, I'll get back to you. I'm like, oh, I was cold. <laughs> I was yep. damn cold. Well, that's what he deserves. And I, and I loved him. He's my favorite Robin, you know, but... He's being an obsessive dick right now. Yeah, like, again, his time by himself in, in Mr. Oz's, you know, prison didn't do him any good. No, it's not so... left him in the best of places. No. Yeah, it kind of feels like he's barreling towards that uh, Days of Future Bats. Uh, at a yeah, at a faster pace than he would have because, you know, Future Tim had told him, you know, this is where things start to go, and you go off to college and realize that you, you know, you want back. Well, he didn't even go to college. He, you know, yeah, he's just he bypassing just that and straight, to, straight it. to it. Yeah. yeah. So no, I'm it's like I'm enjoying the plot, uh, and mostly because it has been stuff that's been built up over the entire run. It feels like it's utilizing everything it's kind of set up and utilizing all the plot thread threads and whatnot. Uh, as an issue on its own, it was just kind of fine. Was this is the next chapter, right. and we'll yeah. be back next time? And that's okay. Uh, art was decent again. Still have some problem. Clayface is a bit round. Mm. Yeah, it's his head specifically. It's just very very round. There's not very many you know clay ridges that we used to see. Again, I think the art kind of uh, leads to the overall feeling of it. So it's a solid, solid seven out of ten issue, if you will, because it's like it's serviceable. It's getting the job done. It's not bothering me for the most part, but it's not exactly blowing me away either. It's not, it's not giving me you know jaw dropping panels or sequences or. Yeah. I think it's like um, what it is good at is the facial expressions, which really works for like Tim and Stephanie. Hmm. Yeah. But it does suffer a bit when you get you know Clayface and, and Cassie. 